Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to thank everyone for all the well wishes we've received for Polly. Um, he'll be in the hospital for a few days, and if anyone's curious why I'm vlogging while he's in the hospital or of him in the hospital, because this is part of our life, um, I don't edit it out. I mean, it's not like you see every single moment, but you get, an ex you get a sampling of what occurs. And this is just another one of those things. So um, I did talk to a nurse this morning. I was not able to talk to the doctor. I'm heading over there now. He's going to be treated for several days because the IV antibiotics need time to actually take effect. I was just something was blinking on the camera. Um, I'm concerned. Um, not scared yet. Uh, we're trying to have the treatment, hopefully the treatment takes effect um, because the next step would be sepsis and for those of you who know anything about it, it's like a brush fire in your system, it starts to shut things down. So right now it's not in his blood, um, We have they have ruled that out, they have tested his blood. They will continue to take tests, you know, samples of his blood to make sure that it's not spreading. His white count is really good, there's no evidence of a blood infection yet. Um, and I hope that's going to remain the case. So I will um, head to the hospital. I'll bring you with me. Um, it's pouring and I have to park on the street. I'm not going to melt. I'm not made out of sugar. So again, thank you for everyone who posted messages on Facebook, on um, Instagram. Uh, sent me direct messages as well as messages on comments in yesterday's vlog. I really appreciate it. Um, you never know the power of positive thinking. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you who have sent me messages. I've received phone calls, thank you, um, you know, private messages. I genuinely appreciate it. And I will read them to Polly when I get there because I'll bring my Kindle with me and they have Wi-Fi. So I'll see you in a bit. So we've had some stuff that we were offering to anyone who wanted it on the grass part right here at the end of our driveway. <laughs> And it looks like our neighbor decided to move them off the grass because I think she thinks all this grass on the side of our driveway is her property. <sighs> People are strange. Check out the fashionable accessories Polly has. I think they're compression socks or sleeves. Having fun? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna let him sleep and I'm gonna go back to work. I brought him some peaches, uh, orange, and banana and some water. Okay. You wanna talk about lazy chickens? They're lying down to eat, which is kind of funny. So I was always wondering what they did while I wasn't looking or they didn't know I was looking. So I'm back home, um, had a little bit of a visit with Polly about an hour or so, and um, I'll see him after my afternoon meetings. I have a deadline that I need to meet um, today, so I have quite a bit to do for work, and I'm still going to hope to replant those things that are the seedlings because I just, I think they need to go in the ground. Um, yeah. I think I need to make myself something to eat because last night when I came home I had some fruit which was great but um, I hear my tummy grumbling already so I might make myself a couple of eggs. Actually speaking of eggs, um, I'm going to go see if there's any eggies. I did pick up one egg from the from a uh, one brown egg from the coop earlier before I left. I always check before I leave somewhere and I always check when I come back. So, and I've refilled everybody's water and everyone's food, so everyone should be nice and happy, comfy, cozy. Yeah, hoping to be a pr um, productive afternoon. It's still kind of drizzly, but you know what? It's okay. It's kind of uh, matches the mood. <clears throat> so, I will check in later. I, it may not be till much later, and there may not be a lot to today's vlog, but I'm sure everybody understands why. I'm cheering myself up with some strawberries, and yes, I put some sugar in the raw on it. While I had a meeting and I couldn't chew on the phone, um, they created their own little juicy. So that and a giant seltzer, and I'm going to give Polly a call, see what he's up to. He might be sleeping. It's raining outside, so it's like kind of a perfect day to get a good nap in. I'm hoping that's what he's doing. Um, his second IV was supposed to be at 3 o'clock today. 
so it's 3.30, he should have had it by now, so that's what I'm, the other thing I'm going to check with him, and um, hopefully I'll get a chance to run out in an hour or so to go visit with him and see if maybe he wants me to bring him dinner or whether they're giving him some food there, so I'll keep you apprised of what's going on. I devoured the strawberries. They were delicious. Had some seltzer and look what came in the mail. I got this from Blitzy and I saved six dollars and eight cents. For those of you who don't know, uh, Blitzy has bigger than a big box store um, coupons on Sundays from 10 a.m. Central to 3 p.m. So um, great deals so on already discounted craft supplies so I picked up one of these um, Julie Nutting's um, Prima metal die cut with cling stamps sadly they don't have the names of them on here let me see if it said so it's Gracie on the invoice so this is the Gracie set and the reason I got her is because she has anime hair and boots that's kind of how I saw it um, so it's a stamps the stamps are underneath let me see if I can show you that now, the instructions say stamp, cut, finish product. Um, I think some of these would benefit from being cut first and then stamped. I'm doing this one handed. And I will play around with them. And I'm sure there's tons of videos already out there. I'm kind of late coming to this party. So here's the stamps. Here are the stamps. You get the two different hair or three different hair, uh, an outfit, the doll itself, boots, and I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But and then there's the die. There are the dies. For example, this die. You can't really see whether you're lining it up properly because it's not clear all the way through. These would be very easy to stamp and then die cut because you can see and the actual die cutting edge is right on the inside. So that's easy for you to maneuver over a already stamped image. So the all the hair pieces and the boots. But the clothing and the doll itself I think would be far more difficult to stamp and then cut. I think it would be easier to cut and then stamp. But I will play around and show you because, you know, I love show and tell. You now, if I can only find the time, right? So, yeah, that put a little smile on my face. Um, I did call Polly and he's asleep. His roommate answered the phone. Not sure how because I think they have two separate phones. He might have gotten annoyed with it ringing. So I might just give, call, uh, give Polly a call on his cell phone later just to make things easier. And I'll definitely let him rest. I'm not going to... I don't need to go there and watch him sleep, right? So I'll be productive here. I'm going to go out check and check in on the chickens next. Hi, girls. Hi. Hey, happy drinkers. I just refilled our water bottle. Is that good? Yummy? There were two more eggs, so I caught the egg eaters. Oh, just gonna relax here for a minute. <clears throat> All my meetings are done for the afternoon. I do have a bunch of things I need to finish. Hopefully I'll finish everything today. And I can go visit with Polly for a little while after work. And then come home and then take a nice relaxing bath. Them thirsty girls. They're kind of entertaining now that they're not in the house. I know they want to go outside, but it's so wet, and I'm not babysitting them, so I don't want a wily e. coyote or a hungry fox to take off with any of them. So, they're here. 
and the big girls drinking from their bottles. I didn't really have anything to give to the big girls today, but if I make a salad for myself for dinner, I'll give them the trimmings from it. I might just make a simple salad and I think I'm gonna, I need to get another water bottle for the chicks. They seem to be standing around it. And it's always best for chickens to drink raising their necks up than trying to lower it down. For example, all those trough water containers that they show, um, it's really not good for them because that whole swallowing thing is much easier for them. Hi, Chester. Is much easier for them. We're not playing, not playing, honey. Much easier when their heads are um, up, pointed up, stretched out. Did you just sneeze at me? Oh, he's gonna go get his ripped up chocolate. No, no, no. It's a tattered mess. It's wet and muddy. Mommy doesn't want to touch that. Foo, yucky. No. No. <laughs> You're too cute for words, but still no. Alright, I better go in. Otherwise, he'll just keep crying if we're outside with it. Back at the hospital, and it's pouring. At least I got a close parking spot. Okay, there's Polly resting. His leg. Are you making faces? <laughs> Look what's helping him feel better. Show him. Show him. Hi, too. <laughs> Brought him the banana, mango, melon. So, he had dinner. What did you have for dinner, honey? Uh, wonderful tasting nothing. So, oh. Hot rolls. That's what happens when you're spoiled by my good cooking. Oh, disgusting. Well, you have food to look forward to when you get home. Mm. So, probably shouldn't tell you, but I'm going to go home and make some naked pasta. Okay. <laughs> All right, I brought him a whole tray of fruits. Can you show them your fruit tray, or can I go walk around and show it? Mm. It's dark, but I brought him peeled peach, some mango, mm. pineapple, and strawberries. There's a fork in there for you. A house fork? No, plastic throwaway fork. And you can, I guess, toss this too. Yeah. So it's not raining anymore. And it's about 7.20 or so. Giant air conditioning unit is not over there, loud. It's a little drop off circle. They have valet parking at the hospital. Oh, there's my car over there. So, just saw Polly. Thought I'd give you a different scene, change of scenery. That's the hospital entrance, right there. And some old factories in the background. Used to be a mill town here. So, that's what the old stack is from. So, he will be seen by a physician tomorrow morning. He has two more bags of antibiotics going on tonight. One at 8, one at 10, then another one at 4 a.m. So it's looking better. His leg above the knee is no longer red and warm to the touch. So it's improving. And I think it's still early enough for me to go home, make some naked pasta, and maybe play in my craft room. Or do some laundry and put stuff away in the kitchen. Whichever strikes my fancy, but I think at least I'm going to go make some naked pasta and maybe put some stuff away in the kitchen while that's cooking. Alright, let's go home. Sorry it's dark, but yeah, why is it so dark in here? Oh, because we have energy saving three bulbs and they're 13 watts each, so yeah, well that's it. Um, I made myself whole wheat naked pasta and just as a little treat treat, I added and it's zest of entire lemon and juice of entire lemon. I like it lemony. So I can make it the way I want it with some crushed red pepper, a little Parmigiano Reggiano, and one, probably one heaping tablespoon of mascarpone. So it makes just an ever so creamy coating, but not really a sauce. There's nothing at the bottom. Um, and that's it. There was no mushrooms in the fridge, so it's naked pasta for dinner for me
probably had some bizarre stuff that he absolutely hated, as you heard firsthand. 